Way back in the earliest 2000s, Jetboil revolutionized canister stoves by unveiling the Flash Cook System. Its innovative flux ring technology connected the uniquely designed pot directly to the stove to ensure proper positioning of the flame. This minimized heat loss and maximized efficiency. Just like that, in a single nested unit, you could boil water in two minutes flat and enjoy a hot cup of coffee or a dehydrated meal soon after. And it was priced right too. I was certainly an eager early adopter and I wasn't alone as the flash quickly became a bestseller. All these years later, I still use my flash and this is actually my second one since I gifted the first one to a friend. I take it on paddling trips, use it at the trailhead after cold winter runs, and I even bring it to outdoor sporting events where a hot beverage really hits the spot. But the flash never quite suited my personal backpacking needs. It's heavier and takes up more space in a pack than some other types and styles of compact stoves. And as much as I really, really wanted that quick, super efficient boil time, I just wasn't willing to compromise on the size and weight. A few years later, Jetboil expanded their assortment with the slightly smaller Zip, the oversized Sumo, large double burner camping stoves like the Genesis, and some other variations. They also launched the Mighty Mo, a more traditional fold down canister top stove that weighs just over three ounces and packs down much smaller than the Flash. This was more in my backpacking wheelhouse and though it didn't come with the cooking cup that I got with my Flash, I already had another lightweight pot that I loved that worked just fine. The Mighty Mo doesn't have the same flux ring technology and because of that, it does take a little longer to boil water, but three minutes was still a lot faster than what I had gotten from the backpacking stoves I'd been using. So while I continued to wish for the lightning fast performance of the Flash, I was pleased to have gotten as close as possible with the Mighty Mo. And then along came the stash. I jokingly, but only half jokingly, refer to it as my backpacking Goldilocks. The stove itself isn't much bigger or heavier than the Mighty Mo, but the stash also isn't just a stove. It's a true cook system that comes with its own 0.8 liter pot with a modified flux ring design that improves considerably on the burn time of the Mighty Mo. The system also includes a fuel can stabilizer and a see-through lid with a convenient pour spout. The fuel canister locks right into place beneath that lid when you're ready to break camp and get back on the trail. In fact, the fuel canister, the stove, the stabilizer, even a mini lighter will all fit neatly inside the pot and fit snugly enough that there's no clanging or rattling as you hike. Altogether, these components only add up to a bit over seven ounces. The stash doesn't have an auto igniter or a heat indicator like the flash and may not be quite as speedy, but two full cups of boiled water in two and a half minutes is music to this backpacker's ears. If I'm really traveling as bare bones as possible, I'll still grab the Mighty Mo on occasion, and I can totally see some stingier ounce counters sticking with that option. And like I said, when space and weight aren't of concern, and I just want hot water as fast as possible, my flash still gets plenty of use. But for most of my hiking trips, the stash has proven to be the perfect balance of weight, packed size and performance. Not too big, not too heavy and plenty quick. It's just right. So regardless of your specific preferences, there's a Jetboil stove out there for you. Check out the full assortment and product specifications at inwild.com. Our gear specialists are real people who love awesome gear as much as you do. And they're happy to help you decide which Jetboil is right for your next adventure.